まあ日本のトラックとの違い大きな違いがまず目立つのは大きさですねめっちゃ長いめっちゃ高いこれはもちろん中に2段で車が入ってるのはあとはですねガールウィングドアがないですね最近となってやっとこういうトラックに横側のドアがあるんだけれどももともとこういうトレーラーには横にはドアがついてないことが多かったのかなとだから非常に車を乗せやすくにくいことでしたよねこういうドアがあることによってちょっとね車を詰めやすくなるのかなっていう感じですね日本のトラックとも違いますよねこんなでかいやつおお中に本当にもう一軒家の日本の家より広いかもしれないよねこの中にこれシャワーもあるトイレもあるベッドもある冷蔵庫なども全てあるこれでねアメリカはでかいから全国に回るトラックとやっぱり休みたい時にこのトラックの中こんなにいいところの中で休めるから楽ですよね。Here's a couple of examples of uh, one of the Japan's premium car hauling, hauling companies it's called Transweb. And if you look, they're using Japanese trucks, Hino, Mitsubishi. It's a Mitsubishi truck over there too. This is a major Japanese company called Transweb. They carry some of the nicest cars that come here to the Tokyo Auto Salon. One of the big differences you see in these trucks is one, they're snub nosed trucks. They're all flat nosed trucks. You notice Japanese trucks always have full curtains in there so the drivers have privacy when they're resting and taking it easy. Full curtains, snub nose, and look at these trailers. If you look at this trailer right here, not only do you load the car from the back, but you have the ability to open up the sides of the trailer as well. These open up like gold wing doors from the side. Check this out, you got boxes. I'm sure you got you have the ability to put stuff down here as well. But the sides open, and then in the back, you have a completely flat loading bed here that you can see allows you again. You can load cars that are as low to the ground as, I mean, just about any car that you can imagine that's low to the ground is able to get up on here. This is pretty interesting. The Datsun trailer right here. This is uh, actually enclosed, but they're using vinyl plastic on the sides that looks like you have the ability to open it up as well and access the car, both right and left sides of the car as well. Makes loading a car, any type of car, no matter how low it is or whatever it is, relatively easy. Here's another example. By the way, most of the trucks you see in, the, in Japan are straight jobs. They're not trailers, although there are some trailers. But the interesting thing is, not only do the front wheels turn when you're driving, but you, this second set of wheels right here also turns with it, which makes navigating tight spaces and turning tight corners in a country like Japan, it's very small. If the streets are very narrow, it makes it much easier to have these dual front wheels that turn. Here's another really, really interesting setup. This looks pretty new. This looks like it's a single car type of setup. Look at how flat this is to the ground. I mean, this is basically on the ground, plenty of width, and these tracking systems and strapping systems that allow you, depending on the width of the car, to really adjust. This one's quite interesting. This is actually, it looks like a trailer. I don't think it's a straight job. Look at the width of the rear wheels. They stick out pretty far. But, oh, wow, look at this. So this is interesting. I didn't even notice this before. How cool is this? The wheels are out right now so that you have plenty of room and access to load. If you look back inside, the wheels are out, giving you full, full access. You don't have those humps that you normally have on a lot of trailers back at home. Now, it looks like what happens is, once that's all loaded in, it looks like these wheels are gonna push back in and then close up, have a normal, this is gonna close up right up into the trailer here, but you're never gonna have any problems loading because you have full width, full ability to load in, close it back up, shut it, 
and you're on your way. Pretty cool trucks, definitely different than American trucks. I think this, this kind of system makes loading, especially of low cars and in tight spaces, much, much easier. I always wondered, why don't we have trucks like this or trailers like this in the United States? Not quite sure the answer to it. You know, certainly we have different trucks and everything else, but I would imagine you can adapt the system like this in trucks in the United States. And it seems to me this would make loading of cars a hell of a lot easier than what it is sometimes. And as guys who are into cars, and if you load trailers, and you're familiar with all the difficulties involved in that, especially getting into a trailer, opening up the door, trying to get out of your car without scratching or banging the door and everything else, it's not an easy thing to do. A fully automated type of system like this looks like it makes loading of cars much, much easier. Uh, just a quick peek inside of these will give you an idea of how the differences are between uh, trucks in America and trucks in Japan. Just a quick little spotlight on some differences that I like to highlight sometimes between Japan and the United States.